All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 27. All right. So now we're going to give our game ID a maximum width of 50, pardon me, 500 pixels, a maximum height of 400 pixels. Then we'll set the background color to white and the color to white as well. We we'll use margins to center it by setting the top margin to 30 pixels, bottom margin to zero pixels, and the left and right margins to auto, right? Then finally, we'll give it a 10 pixels, pardon me, finally, we'll give it 10 pixels of padding on all four sides. All right. So, uh oh, first, we're going to be targeting this uh, game, this hashtag game ID selector. And then we'll start off with max width. So I forgot if it was width, max, or max width. So I just came over here to uh, Google and said max width CSS. And right here it says max width, just like that. So we'll come over here and say uh, max hyphen width is now 500 pixels. All right. And then max height is 400 pixels. All right. Then we're going to do background color of six F's. All right. We'll take this, drop it off here, change this to one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's do this instead. Let's take color and background color. Copy that, highlight this, drop it off, and we'll change this to one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's a little bit cooler. Uh, now we're going to use the margins to center. Now I forgot how to do that too. So we go to CSS margin in the Google bar, click the W3 schools right here, and we'll come down here and I'm just looking for something that says four values. Nope. Three values. That looks good. So tops on the top, right and left's in the middle and bottoms on the bottom. All right. So that's what we'll do. We'll say margin is, uh, what was it? Th 30 pixels. And then what is it? Auto and then zero pixels. All right. And then we're going to give it 10 pixels of padding. So padding 10 PX like that. And so now the thing looks like this. I'm sure it looks much different on your computer screen, but mine looks like this right now. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 28 and we'll see you next time.